So part three, continuing from the, the series. So now we will paint this, but let's prepare it first for painting. Uh, there are several things we have to uh, make sure that uh, uh, we're following um, saving patterns and whatnot, okay? So I'm gonna go to UV edit, press A here to kind of see that uh, we want to UV edit this one. So it should be fairly simple on this. Uh, we got the side uh, forming a little bit here, but uh, for the most part, um, we can just project this from view here. Uh, it would probably be work. Uh, probably see some uh, uh, streaking right here or some um, kind of expanded uh, lines here. So let's take a look at first, just simply unwrap it by itself. Okay. So that would probably would work. Okay. Because it pretty much had spread it. So we could see the ear right here, the side of the face. That's a probably the more problematic one the inside right here is fairly spread out the nose okay so we can just leave it as is pressing U and then just unwrap it it would work for our need okay so now let's jump to texture paint so texture painting is simply um, if you have a Wacom tablet uh, you can have sensitivity I'm just using the mouse here I'm just gonna use a uh, erasing technique uh, that you can apply to your uh, to your um, model right most of you probably will not have black on tablet so let's use a mouse uh, something what everyone would have and see if we could you know use that all right so um, for texture map uh, this is simply plugging a base color texture to your shader so if I go to shading right here Okay, and then um, you will see that we have no texture on this one. I mean, there's no uh, material, okay? And definitely the base color is white and we have no texture. So texture painting, you will create that from scratch basically. Okay, so right now there's a material, okay? Texture, there's none. All right, so we're going to add a texture to this, and then what we want is the base color. So we're making a base color. So I'm going to click on base color here. Okay, it's going to ask you how big your map should be. So let's just do a, uh, we're going to do times two on this one. Okay, so we'll have a 2K times two. So we're going to have a 2K map, and then we're going to leave it as white. Okay, and then we're going to click OK. All right, there you go. Now this one is applied. Um, if I go to my shading, this should show you that it generated this node and it plugged it, and then that material right there, you didn't name it yet, is the one that's being used. So each time we paint here, this will be updated. So in here, there's the material. So right here, we can start kind of saving this. I'm gonna to go to image right here, save a copy, okay? We're just going to go to the desktop. We can easily find it there. We're going to call this one um, cat mask base color. Uh, this is text paint so that we know that that's the one we're text painting. Okay. All right. So save that image. If I go to my finder here and then I'm going to my desktop, there it is. So nothing in there, just pure white. And I want to show that to you uh, while we're painting so you get to see what's happening all right so we can start painting this so i can go black right here change my color to black and then we can just start kind of adding that uh, eyeliner kind of cat uh, color eye color on the mask that is i don't know what you call it but uh, let's call it that for now all right, so I'm just kind of painting that. Okay, and uh, we can go in and uh, add more. Okay, so, and I can increase my brush size by pressing uh, F right here, or you can increase your uh, radius right there. Totally up to you. So I'm gonna fairly make this quick here, you know, this so uh, oops, I want to make sure you don't uh, involve other side. Otherwise, you'll see certain things. Like if you go like so, see that one? 
it's on the opposite side remember this is still one-sided right so okay that should be fine right there uh, what's happening here though is our brush is having this really soft edge right so on the photo that we're trying to copy or if you um, online search some of these masks uh, they do have that kind of uh, sharp edge on the paint so we're going to have to change our fall off here from something smooth to something really sharp like this guy right here okay so when you paint you get kind of hard surface right there all right so what I'll do actually is change my color to white and I could just kind of erase okay so you can see here uh, the base color is not pure white so that's something I forgot to flood in there but that's fine okay so we're gonna go like so you can erase and then you can just go like so here so you can actually get some so this is all I did actually on uh, on that uh, demo I showed you on the finished product one okay so you can go like so you can definitely make that edge sharper and we're just using a 2k map here it's kind of showing its a resolution also that it's not very high once we're zooming, you can see that pixelated edge. All right, so. Okay, so there's that. And then if I save my image right here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, did I not save that as? Okay, save the image and uh, let me see if it's linked to that. Okay, not yet. Uh, save a copy. Go to the desktop cat mask. Okay, right there. Okay, just overwrite that, and we got that one right there. If we go to our shading. All right, there it is. So this is the updated mask right there. Okay, so we're gonna keep painting this one. Um, it's gonna go black and white for now, okay? Let's go for the nose right here. So um, I'm going to uh, lower my, um, well, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, we can just, uh, and this is mirrored by the way. So the painting is mirrored. So it, it goes on both, uh, we can, uh, change your mirroring uh, to whichever you want on the uh, axis but uh, the X one would work just fine so all right so we can just go like so all right and again I'm just speeding through this because uh, you you get the point uh, lower my radius a bit and then we're gonna go like this Okay, and I think it goes like that, and there's some sort of like lip right there. Okay, and you can paint the, uh, oops, I just spilled it. All right, you got to just be careful here, and it's of course a huge advantage if you have like a pressure sensitive uh, tablet to do this okay all right so and I change that to white just kind of get all of my uh, detail in there all right so say kind of fill in all this area right here for, since I forgot to flood fill it at the beginning or the white wasn't purely white as a base color just fine this is uh, fairly uh, easy to do oops well easy to do but you still got to be careful all right and 
you can zoom in and then that keeps your uh, brush size relative to the distance so all right Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, then you can add different colors, of course. We can go to red right here. And we can start. And go back to white. Oops. It's not pure white. You can uh, do an eyedropper, by the way. Uh, if you want to go specific with the color, but uh, this one, like I said, it's gonna kind of eyeball this and it's kind of make it as you know as quick as we can regarding demoing it. So because you got the point. All right, and then you can add some details. I think the mask actually had something going like so. And you can kind of change those. Oops. You can go select that white, white, though. So. But it depends on the shade, though. It's, uh, you got to make sure it's pure white over there. And it has to be the same shade, but you can put this palette still, or you can just. Uh, pick from there, but all right, so something like that, so on and so forth. And then it's you can go crazy on this one, how you however you want it, okay. And uh, kind of like those cooking shows, I'm going to open one where it's all done, okay. Okay, so this is same technique using that one. So it's got you know put a little bit more time on this one. I kind of miss that white right there, but uh, you get the point. Okay, so after doing your own kind of design, uh, this is what you'll kind of end up with. And when you're texture painting it, okay, this will be your image right here. Just don't forget to save that image. Okay. So that, uh, there you go. So it says saved image to Japanese cat, PNG. All right, so because if you just save Blender right here, you're not gonna get that, not unless uh, you actually, uh, I think there's a thing in the preference now where you get to, it'll activate and then you save the image as well. So, all right, so that will conclude our texture painting and UV mapping on this one and um, didn't want to bore you all the details how to kind of paint all this because it's just kind of straightforward so I kind of like those cooking shows after four hours uh, baking this is what you get all right and this will end our video for part three of the cat mask